Well, I got all the snow blowing done. Uh, my plow truck guy couldn't make it, so I had to do it myself. Uh, all but this big drift in front of my garage. And it got me to thinking. I was looking at the snow. And it's uh, perfect for making an igloo out of this drift snow. It's real solid. It cuts fairly easy, too. And uh, I already started a couple blocks. Got a couple over here. Never made one before. Um, I'm gonna work on it a little bit today and then probably finish it up tomorrow. Uh, kind of um, trying to, you know, slash, uh, it's kind of a snow fort, but slash, you know, survival shelter. So I've never built one. I'm gonna give it a shot and I'll uh, show you what it takes along the way. All right, well, I wanted to show you a couple of the tools that I was working with. Uh, since we have great snow to make a survivor shelter out of, you usually want to look for drift snow. It's really dense. You can cut it into blocks and form it very easily. You can use this about anything. A machete works well. I've been using this angle right here. That's been working good because it's a nice straight piece. Or even just a arbor saw or a piece of tin or whatever you can find, a shovel. So I'm going to uh, show you how I'm cutting a few of these pieces and start putting it up. I'm gonna put the uh, entrance to the south, the south is that way, facing the sun because the prevailing wind is to the north. So I'm thinking that you want your entrance to be away from your prevailing wind. And it'll probably only be big enough to sit in. But it might be big enough for my dog. So we'll see. I have this uh, short handled machete that's working pretty good. It makes pretty easy cuts. Um, usually I use two hands though. And it's just like you're cutting a piece of cake. But you want to cut the bottom too. And then it just pops right out. And they're they're pretty easy to handle. Now with a machete and one hand, you can just lift the blocks over and set them in into place. So uh, what I would probably do is cut, cut multiple blocks ahead of time so you got them ready to go and just start stacking them up so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut multiple blocks off I mean, this is really dense snow heavy so you don't want the blocks too big anyway and I'm gonna start building this up and I'll show you my progression as I go Another thing I'll show you real quick, what you gotta do because we are making a round shelter here. <clears throat> Just take these blocks and shave them off at an edge like that. They'll fit together better. Uh, you don't need, I don't think you need the gaps to be perfect because you can fill in with snow anyway but you want them to be fairly level as you go. So, 
That's how I'm coming. I'll show you when I get a little farther. There's row two, slowly but surely. along one thing that I do want to emphasize is that I you need to stagger your block seams the bottom the second first and second are staggered just a little bit but I tried to even do it more on the third row but uh it's coming along I'm uh <clears throat> gonna finish this th third row today um, I've been out here, I don't know, an hour and a half or so. If this is a life and death situation, obviously I wouldn't have a chance to quit. <laughs> I'd have to keep working at it until it was done. Um, but uh, regardless, um, the third row is probably as high as I'm going to go with the door. And then the next row is where I'm going to try to go over the door it might be difficult because this is pretty wide and you usually want the entrance to be narrow just because you're spanning that with a pretty much a single piece of snow but uh anyway I'll get back to it tomorrow I think well I cut a single piece of snow to go over the door seems to be holding um, I wouldn't go much more than that, and we'll see when I put the weight on it if it cracks or not. Hopefully it won't, but uh, it's starting to take shape and it actually has the look of an igloo now. I know you saw me going along with my machete, machete and uh, just carving it a little bit. It's super easy to carve. And you just shape it, and that's all there is to it. I don't even know if you'd really worry about the snow falling on the ground. I think that would just add extra insulation anyway. So, just kind of keep beveling this edge and closing up this circle. And it's actually working and it's not that bad. Now if you had help, you could definitely cut the time on this. But, <clears throat> being that it's the first time I've ever done this, I'm pretty impressed how it's turning out so far. 